Hello, everyone. Welcome to my art studio. My name is Kenan, and I'm excited to have you here with me today. In this video, I'll be taking you through the process of illustrating a portrait. As we near the end of 2023, this portrait holds special significance as it marks the final piece of the year for me. It's a combination of all the skills and techniques I've learned throughout the artistic journey this year. As I apply the knowledge gained in 2023 to bring this portrait to life, I can't help but reflect on the growth and progress made over the past year. As we bid farewell to 2023, I want to express my gratitude for your support and encouragement. Whether you have been here since the beginning or joined along the way, your presence has been a driving force in this artistic journey. So, the first step in my process is working in grayscale. This is a fantastic technique because it allows me to really focus on the values, the lighting, and the shadow. This initial stage is all about capturing the overall likeness of the subject. Thinking of it as laying down the foundation for the portrait. The first go around, I zoom out the reference photo and my drawing. Squint my eyes to see the overall composition and work on a zoomed out scale. This is where I lay down the rough color blocking as fast as possible. With the rough color blocking complete, it's time for the second go around. Now, I zoom in and start carving out the details. This part of the process feels very similar to sculpting, refining the features and bringing the portrait to life. It's incredible how easy I can carve out the details once the foundation is solid. Now I'm going to speed up this section. Right now I'm really taking my time. I dive into the details. Tweaking the drawings in grayscale is much easier because you don't have to worry about colors. Now you might be wondering, what if I want to draw a color portrait like the one you showed in the beginning of this video? Well, let me show you the quickest way to add color to a grayscale drawing. I first create three layers. I set the blending mode to color, multiply, and overlay respectively. Then, I clip mask each of these new layers to the original grayscale layer. I use the color layer to change the hue, giving the portrait a color palette. The multiply layer to color the shadow, and the overlay layer to color the highlighted area. Adding depth and dimension to the piece. It's a quick and effective way to breathe life into a grayscale illustration. And there you have it, the step-by-step -step process of illustrating a portrait, starting with grayscale and seamlessly transitioning to vibrant color. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring for your own artistic journey. If you have any questions or want to see more content like this, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more art-related content. 
Until next time, Happy New Year. <laughs>